This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it, hopefully you are all okay. We are currently on Towster Road, which is a road next to Silverstone. And my truck decides to beep, just as I say that. Yeah, we're um, we're sort of like um, A46, I think it is? No, A43. Um, we're just sort of like near Silverstone at the moment. We're just delivering to the wood place. We're pretty much just about to turn up. Uh, we've got a full load of wood on. We're on a flatbed today. Um, wow. We've got one flatbed on at the moment. After this, we've got to go back to the yard and pick up another flatbed. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing from there. But, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I do like the flatbed work, but not bothered what trailer I have. We'll pull whatever I'm asked. Lights off. Yeah, so the place we're delivering to is just down here on the left. You can see the lights, or I can see the lights. Gonna turn that off for a sec. Okay, so we want to make a left turn here. I've only been here once before, I think. Maybe, maybe twice. Yeah, this left turn here. Lovely. Ugh. I think we'll put some flashing beacons on. We go. I'm pretty sure we go left here where that van just come out of. Caution. Vehicle turning left. Caution. Vehicle turning left. Yeah, that's it. Up here. Caution. Vehicle turning left. Pretty sure it is anyway. Yeah, so um we've got a load of wood on at the moment. We're going to deliver this wood. Yeah, it is down here. Um, it should then be nearly light. <laughs> We're going to make our way back to the yard. We need to do a trailer swap, get rid of this trailer, hitch up to another trailer which has already been preloaded, and then we've got to take that to Leicester that's got toilets on. I will show you that load when we get there uh, to the yard. Uh, from Leicester, I'm not exactly sure what we're doing. Uh, might be back to the yard to get another trailer. I'm not entirely sure. We will see. We do as we are told. That is what we do. But yes, thank you everyone who's left me well wishes for my dad. He's still in hospital. For those of you who don't know me, um, my dad, for lack of a better word, he, he died. <laughs> he died three times and he got brought back to life. And then um, he died again in hospital, got brought back to life again. He had a heart attack each time. Um, but he, he's stable at the moment and he's recovering, so that's the main thing. But I'm not allowed to see him. No, one, no one's allowed to see him in the hospital. I'm just wondering where we park. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's in these spaces here, but there's other trucks here. So I might just need to wait here and speak to someone. Turn the light on, you can see me. I need to put high vis on anyway, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to go speak to someone, just let them know I'm here. And we will go from there. But yeah, no, good, good news about my dad is that he is recovering, so that's the main thing. It's all I'm really fussed about. But on Friday, I was told that he had died and that he was having CPR and he'd been rushed off to the hospital. And we, as a family, we didn't know anything for like an hour or two. Um, and I, I was, I was, um, where was I? I was in Chester, just sort of south of Liverpool and had a four hour drive home and just, I didn't really know anything. It was terrible, but he is all right at the moment. That's the main thing. 
Right, we've got a high vis on. I'm not sure if you need a hard hat or not. I can't remember. Well, I think someone's coming over to me now, actually. Nope, they're not. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, see with someone and see or eat what we can do. I might take the straps off while we're waiting. See you in a bit. So I just thought I'd show you what I've got on at the moment. So for all this wood, uh, there's 11 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rows. So we're just going to unstrap it now and then uh, get it offloaded here yeah, near Silverstone and then we'll go and grab the other trailer and um Right, that's the straps taken off. We've still got to get unloaded. Apparently there's no one in till, well, they said half an hour after I got here, so. We'll see, we're, we're ready to go anyway, ready to start being unloaded. And uh, we need to head back to the yard from here. I also need to make a phone call, so I'm gonna do that now. ...today, which would be really appreciated if you'd be able to... Yeah, no problem, well. yep, five stars, thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Luke. I appreciate <laughs> it. Well, I'll let you carry on with your day because I'm sure that you've got lots to do. Yeah. And I'll send you over an email now confirming the the delivery date for you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Luke. Have a lovely day. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye. Okay, so um, those of you who follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram and whatnot, you will know that I've got a new, a brand new type of... Well, brand new. It's 2020. Uh, a new Type R to replace my existing Type R. You know, lucky me, I've got two Type R's. Um, I've had it for about four or five days and I'm just not 100% on it, if I'm honest. Like, I'm not in love with it. I know that sounds horrible to say, but... Yeah, I'm just... I don't know, just not feeling it. So maybe it's got something to do with my dad being in hospital, I don't know, but I'm just not feeling it. Uh, I got it through Kazoo and... Bless them. I, <laughs> not sponsored by Kazoo yet, <laughs> but I highly recommend it. I honestly, it was so easy. I did it all online. Uh, did the finance check online. They delivered it to my door, uh, gave the handover. And now, a few days later, I've changed my mind. I don't want it. No questions asked. They're going to come pick it up again Saturday. <laughs> so <laughs> what more can you ask for? Like, it's, it's not really cost me much, to be fair. Like, I've put fuel in. It's got a full tank of fuel, so I'm going to lose that on that. And I may, because, because I've been going to Bath Hospital a couple of times, I may have gone over 250 miles in the car, which means there is an excess to pay £1 per mile over. But it's, it's not going to be much. I think maybe 50 miles over, if that. I, it, it had 1,700 on the clock. It's definitely over 1,800, I know that. So, well, that's only going to be 100 miles then. Yeah, so I think I might be good. Okay, it should be good. So... Yeah, I might be right, but I'm not that bothered if I've got to pay excess and so be it. Bottom line is, I prefer my other Type R, which is in the garage being fixed with a suspected head gasket issue. So <laughs> that's not going to be cheap to fix either, but we'll see. Anyway, we've started being unloaded, um, but we are still here. It's quarter to eight now, so just carry on until... Uh, until I'm offloaded and then we can head back to the yard. Hopefully get to the yard for about 10 o'clock. Right, we are done. Lorry is tipped. What's that van doing? There's a van coming down. Bow, bow, bow. Let's put the paperwork away.
Lovely. Right, so. Yes, we are now tipped. We are going to head back to the yard now. Got to do a trailer swap. Get the other flatbed. Or one of the other flatbeds. Uh, this time with Portaloos on and we're going to take that to Leicester. Just found out it's going to um, Leicester Hospital. Sorry, that's... We're going to get crack-a-lacking. Um, make our way there. It's a shame that I've had to send back my Type R, but it just isn't exciting enough. I think is the only way I can put it. It's a good car, don't get me wrong. It's extremely good, and if, you're, if you don't ha already have a Type R, 100% recommend. But I don't think it's enough of a jump from an FK2 to an FK8 to justify spending £36,000. <laughs> so that is why I am returning it. Yes. Expensive car. Expensive car. Anyway, let's head back. Now is probably a very good time to mention as well, those of you who have been following me on social media. I've um, I've been on a losing weight, basically. I've been trying to lose weight. And I have. I've, I've lost almost a stone in about three weeks. Uh, when I started, I was 26 stone, six pounds. It's a lot of weight. And I'm now, well, as of last night, anyway, 25 stone 11. Or was it nine? No, 25 nine. 25 nine. The day before was 25.11. So, um, yeah, I need to lose three more pounds and then I've lost a stone of weight in less than three weeks. Well, I think it's three weeks Friday, I think. Yeah, three weeks and two days. In two days. So that's very good going. Anyway, this has helped because I've been drinking Y food. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Those of you who watch me, and there's there's another popular, well, there was, well, he, he was a HGV driver, it's not HGV driver anymore, uh, but there's another popular person, we all know his name, uh, sponsored by Y Food. Those of you who watch me, you all know who he is, probably in the comment section are. He does that, he, yes, he does, well, he did, I don't know if he still does. Um, and now I do it. Y Food have been trying to get me on board for the last two years, plus, and uh, I've always turned them down, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't want to do it. But anyway, I'm on this sort of like craze now to lose weight. So they contacted me again and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. What, what can I lose? So I said, yeah, send me out a tester pack. And they did. And these bottles are like 500 mil bottles. I haven't got any on me at the moment because I've actually run out and waiting for a new supply to come through. It should be in a couple of days. Oh my god, they taste they taste amazing. They're like they're basically milkshakes. They taste just like milkshakes. They're lovely. 500 calories in a bottle. And I don't want to get into too much detail about, you know, oh, vitamin this, vitamin that. I don't really care that much to be honest. It's it's a tasty drink and it fills me up during the day. So I've not got to snack out on rubbish food. Is it quicker to go that way? I think I might have had to go that way, never mind. I don't have to snack out on rubbish food like you know, like chocolates or crisps or anything like that. I can just take a Y food out of my fridge, 500 calories, drink it during the day. Not all in one go, I don't. I drink it sip by sip during the day. And that helps me out. I found that I don't normally eat breakfast. Um, I normally snack during the day and then have a meal during the evening. That's what I normally do. And what I've been doing with the Y food drinks is having one of them during the day, sort of 12 o'clock-ish, one o'clock. So basically I fast until one o'clock. Um, and then have one of them, and then I have a meal when I go home, if I'm home. And i have that's what's made me lose weight, I swear to God. <laughs> that's all I've done. I've not changed how much I eat. I mean, yes, I've done a bit more exercise. I've been running and walking on the treadmill. But the, 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 the drinking the Y food during the day is 100% helped. So I definitely recommend. And honestly, they taste amazing. Uh, they sent me out a banana one. Um, they sent me out a chocolate one which my wife had and a coffee one which my wife had that's another story as well i'll tell you about that in a sec they sent me out a vanilla and a coconut i wasn't i didn't think i'd like the coconut but again even the coconut was amazing tasted really nice um anyway long story short they sent me out five bottles i had three of them stacy my wife had two uh, my wife loves them so much that she's actually bought herself 
12 bottles using my discount code. And I'm not even joking, she genuinely has. My own wife has used my discount code to buy herself some wild food. And if you want to know what my discount code is, it's nice and easy, it's just Luke C10 banner. Popped up a few times, I expect by now. Click the link in the description down below, you can go and have a look. But yeah, I get these bottles for free at the moment, obviously, because I'm advertising it, I'm not going to lie. I don't pay a penny for it. <laughs> but my wife has paid for it. <laughs> um, so yeah, cheers wife for using my discount code. If any of you want to use it as well, please feel free. I, I'm not joking. It, honestly, they taste amazing. They really do. And I genuinely believe they are one of the reasons why I've lost a, 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 I can't say the word, sufficient, sufficient amount of weight in such a short amount of time. And uh, I'm hoping it continues with the, um, with the use of Y food. So yes, sorry, a little bit of a sponsor segment there. Not obliged to say any of that. That's completely off top of my head and what I genuinely think. Um, I'm not being paid to, to review the Y food drinks. I'm not, I'm not being paid for anyone who orders any. I just receive them for free and I drink them. If I didn't want them, I wouldn't drink them. I wouldn't advertise them. So I genuinely like them. I genuinely think they're amazing. So it's up to you, but check them out. Truth be, truth be told, they are a little expensive, I'm honest. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an honest person. They are a little bit expensive, but um, they do taste good. So, yeah, anyway, let's crack on back to the yard. Get this other trailer, head to Leicester. See you in a bit. Right, we're just pulling into the yard now. Got another lorry just pulled in front as well. We are in a bit of a rush. Keep going. I know he's probably waiting to uh, find out where he needs to go, but I know where I need to go, around the back. Or is, is he going to stop? Yeah, he's stopping. Where's he going now? No, you don't need to go on here, mate. We're based here, so I'm just dropping a trailer, picking one up. Uh, if you wait there, someone should come out to you. Right. All right, mate. Yeah, yeah so we are, he's never been here before. I think he thought I was cutting in front then because I jumped on the waybridge. Not the case, mate, not the case. All right, watch out for the uh, dumper truck. Right, so this trailer needs to go by the container over there, which is kind of blocked in. I'm gonna have to do a blindside reverse. And the trailer I wanna pick up is behind that G14 truck there. That's the one we're picking up. So we're blind it around this way. Let's get this trailer on, parked up first. And then what I gotta do is move that G14 out of the way. It's not actually hooked up. Just move it out of the way. Hitch this truck up to that trailer, move that out of the way, and then put that truck back there again. It's a bit of a game of Tetris, but it needs to be done. We're just blinding this trailer around. Lovely jubbly. Keep it going. Ugh. There we go, bring it on back. So yeah, we are actually in a little bit of a rush. Apparently this trailer that I've got to pick up is uh, got to be there ASAP in Leicester. I also need to have a break. Wow, I've had a 15 minute break. I stopped at the garages on the way, uh, but I will need to have another half an hour if I don't get a move on. We should get there just about enough time, but we'll see. Right, let's get this trailer dropped.
Right, let's go get this one. Okay, trailer dropped, straps put away, container locked, truck moved out the way. All we've got to do now is hitch up to this other trailer and then just double check the load before we go. Nearly there, let's go. How long have we been? 10 minutes. Up the suspension a little bit. Lovely jubbly. Tug test. We're on. Handbrake on, lift the suspension up more. And we can do the legs up a lot easier. Okay, right, we are hitched up to the other trailer. Uh, as you can see right here. Uh, just gonna do some checks on it real quickly and then we'll be off. Yeah, so we're just doing some checks on it. Uh, just make sure the straps are nice and tight. These are disabled toilets. They've got big old ramps that come down. Uh, obviously they're all locked in place. So we're just checking they're locked in place and the straps are over them as well, just to be safe. They're locked. Lovely. All the straps are tight. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six disabled toilets. There's no doubt we'll be asked. I've got to make a phone call on the way. And no doubt we'll be asked what we got. So just make a mental note of that. Six toilets. Just checking that the kingpin is in. Just check this side. All the straps are on, they're nice and secure. And we'll just tuck that up a little bit. Lovely jubbly. Check the last one. Yes, I'm happy with that. So, we've done our checks. By the way, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have guessed we uh, work out the sawmill, would you? <laughs> uh, yes, we've done our checks. We're going to jump back in the truck. Let's go. Up we come. Now, I've already got the destination. Engine don't turn off. I've already got the destination in the sat nav, but I'm just going to cancel it and reroute it again. Just see if it comes up with an alternative route. And uh, while we're on the way, I will make a phone call to uh, the guys we're delivering for, a couple of guys on site, just to confirm where exactly in the hospital we are going. Just give me uh, some sort of guideline. So we go that way. Yeah. Cool, so we're gonna go up past like Bortland and Water and all that. I think they call that, is it a 429, I think they call it? You will arrive at your destination at 1300 hours. Yeah, the 429, we shall arrive at one o'clock. Like I just said, we're two hours and 20 minutes away. We've done one hour, 50 minutes. We, oh, we might need a half an hour break on route. But you know, it could be half one before we actually get there. Oh, what can you say? Don't know what to say. Try my best, isn't it? Right, let's get out of here first. Hello, trailer. Lovely jubbly. And before we go fully, this is the third time today I've wiped my mirror. This, the roads are just so dirty, they just kick up a load of crap. And your mirrors get dirty well quick. 
truck is minging, absolutely minging. Just clean the number plate as well. Right, let's get out of here. This load's a lot lighter as well than the wood we just carried. Nice light load. That'll do us well good at those hills on the 49. There's the driver that thought I was cutting in. <laughs> There's my car that I'm getting rid of again. Didn't have that for long. <laughs> I, I recommend cars here. I mean, other than a finance check. Um, because these are very expensive cars. So other than the finance check, it hasn't cost me anything because, well, other than, other than one month's tax, because it's been returned, no questions asked, within seven days, as long as I've not done more than 250 miles. I'm not entirely sure on that. And then it's one pound per mile. Uh, so all it's really cost me, not, not including fuel, because I would have used fuel in another car anyway, is just one month's tax, because you pay for a whole month, and if you ask for a refund, you only get four months back like full months back I mean so I get 11 months tax back and it's only 155 for uh, for a year believe it or not for a type R which means I'm not good at maths but that's what set like 15 quid 17 quid something like that so <laughs> so literally it's only cost me 15 quid extra to drive a type R for a week and a credit check on my uh, on my credit score <laughs> Right, anyway, let's crack on. We're gonna go to Leicester Hospital. Drop off these disabled loos. I guess they're doing some renovation and they need some disabled toilets, I guess. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we are approaching where we need to be. We've been told we need to go to car park three. Welcome to Leicester. Uh, apparently it's the maternity ward and uh, the loos are going in there. So that's where we're going. We're going to be there in a few minutes, not too far away. Uh, I've told them I'm just around the corner pretty much, and they've said well, I'm going to have to wait out on the road, so I guess they got someone in there. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we we'll just have to head there and see what they say. And I've also heard from the garage, and my Honda Type R, my FK2, the older one, 2015 model, went in to be uh, to be looked at because it was misfiring. So I believe I had to get like a uh, replacement of spark plugs put in. Turns out it's more than just spark plugs. I need new cylinder head, I need new head gasket, spark plugs, uh, tension belts, bolts, the, the lot, I need the lot. And I've just been quoted, uh, and this is, it was an estimate figure, because we've not, we're not done yet. I've just been quoted like around 6,000 pound for the job. Yeah, that's not good news. Um, more money than I was expecting to have to pay, or have to pay. So uh, yeah, we need to uh, look into that. I mean, feel free to buy a hoodie. I'm wearing one now, let's get crack a lacking. <laughs> Please, buy a hoodie, help me out so I can get my car back. Oh mate, I was not expecting it to cost six grand. I, I got three grand ready to go for it, but the other three grand is gonna have to come from a credit card or something. Not what I wanted to hear. Or the wife. Bloody hell. Didn't want to make that a phone call. Chew my ear off. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're only a mile away. So I, I believe we could turn right down here and then we turn left and it's on the left. Yeah, we turn right, go round the left bend, turn left, then left on the roundabout, then it's on the left. That's where we're going. Is this the same as the place I was at just now? Where green light both sides? Yeah. There's a green light for us to go, but I can't go. Nice bus driver, thank you. Anywho, need to give these windows and uh, mirrors another wipe over because they just get so dirty so quickly in this weather. It's unbelievable. Right, let's head on around this corner. Also, big shout out to my newest sponsor, TomTom. Tom. I am now uh, a brand ambassador for them, so um, 
look forward to receiving more Tom Toms from them and showing you guys what they're like. Hopefully we can do some giveaways potentially and definitely get some discount codes. I've told them I want discount codes from my viewers. Save my viewers some money. Right, the crossroads are coming up. We're going to take a left. Can't believe we're looking at six grand minimum for my car. He said on the phone that they only go for Honda Genuine parts. They don't do any skimming, apparently, off the head gasket. It's getting a bit narrow, mate. You've got loads of room on your other side. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, I can't believe it's going to cost that much money. It's extortionate. Alright, we're going left. <coughs> oh, in terms of time, I mean, we are two minutes away, <coughs> screen light, and I'm on four hours, 11 minutes of driving, so I've got uh, 19 minutes left of driving time, we're only two minutes away, which means the time we do our bits and bobs, if we can't get a break on site, we'll have 15 minutes to go somewhere, um, just park up somewhere on the road for 15 minutes. I've got a call coming in. Hello? Hello. Hi, mate. How far off the old cost? 400 yards. Right, that's fine, mate. We'll be getting in first because there's a long way to And um, we can only take one truck in at a time before. All right, mate. Yeah, I'm just coming up now. If you're, if you're out there, you'll see me in a sec. All right, no problem at all. Just coming. I'll be coming from the right hand side. Okay. It's gone. <laughs> Hung up. So they're going to get me in first. This is car park three. Hello. Carl, if you carry on down, yeah? Yeah. I'll be down the corner. Yeah, I think I see ya. Yeah, it's the next left after that, yeah? The next left, alright mate, I'm just coming down. Yeah, I see him in high now down there. Where am I going, mate? Is this bus going? Right, turn left into here by the looks of it. Is that right? Right. Right, we're in. Let's get these straps off. Give my mirrors a wipe as well, and then we'll carry on. Yeah, not bad, mate. How are you? Yeah, not bad. The roads are minging. The roads are minging. Okay, straps are off. Truck is minging. I'm going to uh, clean the lights. The lights are like wet and truly covered, so I'm going to cover them or clean them up now. The roads are absolutely minging. 
lights are well and truly covered. So we're just cleaning the lights off. I can't, I can't get over how dirty the roads are and how dirty it is. These were white before we left. Minging. Yeah, I'm just cleaning all the lights off. Front's all right. Yeah, front's fine. It's just all the lights on the, on the back of the vehicle. And these are white. believe how dirty the roads have made this in such a short time. That was just uh, three hours of driving, pretty much. I think while I'm here I'll actually clean these reflector boards as well. Give them a wipe. So, just have to move the truck back a bit. Seems like a good time for me to clean the windows and mirrors while I'm in here. It would help if my spray bottle actually works. You will arrive at your destination at 1604. The only thing I've got to do is make sure my lorry is in uh, some sort of reasonable working condition. That's why I'm cleaning it. Because it was not that bad when I left with this trailer, but now it is. So yeah, we're just cleaning all the win windows and mirrors. Okay, so they're strapped up. Not strapped up, what am I talking about? They're cleaned up. Mirror's clean. I said I wasn't going to dump back out, but I am. <laughs> Why not? I don't like. I don't like being that unsociable truck driver that just stays in his truck all the time. Plus, we do a lot of work for these guys. But well, we did. So it's always nice just to be polite and sort of say bye and all that. Do you know what I mean? So head back up. Okay, just. Uh... Okay, so just one more left to go. One more disabled toilet. Like I said, that ramp sort of comes on down, so wheel changes can get in. Probably just trying to think about how I'm going to get out of here. I think I'm going to have to drive all the way down there, reverse back down that car park down there, and then and then I can spin on out. That'd be the way to go. Right, we are tipped. All six toilets are off. Just waiting for a banksman to watch me out. Need to get fuel on the way back as well. Got a quarter of a tank. Yeah, I get I get us back. I'll fill up at Sorry and Sester. Turns that, mate. That's all right. I'll probably drive down there, reverse back. I'll do that. Bit of a tight one.
I love how I can drive professionally for a living. He's telling me to come on out. I drive professionally for a living, but I can't come out of a junction all by myself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's not down here asking me to come out, is he? See you Looks like we all turned up at one go. Anyway, we are out of there. We're going to make our way back to the yard now. Um, early finish today. One of my colleagues will be very happy with me. Not. 20 past four, we'll be back in the yard. Wow. Looks like someone will be picking up some pieces tonight. We are going to drop this trailer, like I said many times, hitch up to the other trailer and it needs to be loaded from QZ, uh, but obviously we're not going to get that loaded tonight. Not a lot of places I can go, mate. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I could tuck my nose into one of these gaps, but the trailer will still be hanging out. So yeah, got to get that loaded tomorrow morning. I'm assuming that's a seven o'clock uh, collection. Um, so yeah, not too bad of a start tomorrow either. Happy days, happy days, just what you want. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Uh, please do feel free to purchase a Y food or two. Honestly, taste amazing. Not even joking, they taste lush. In fact, <laughs> I, really, I, I really want one now. They taste so nice, I want one now. So yes, uh, massive shout out to Y food. Thank you, Tom Tom, for jumping on board as well. Looking forward to being a brand ambassador for them. And uh, I need to find 6,000 pound to pay for my car. So go ahead and buy yourself a lovely Luke and HGV hoodie, all custom designed by myself, and obviously helps me out. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. Drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, we get it. We're turning left. Jesus Christ, that must be so annoying. It's annoying for me.